Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I will be opening the final mythic ornate box of Valenas treasures. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information over this about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So here we are we finally reached the final box and this one is an interesting one because it has some well probably very good rewards uh, it at least has the dental dented metal rod in there which will be very interesting to see what the drop rate is on that uh, if you have gotten the battle worn rod from the insurgencies then this is the next one that you need um, also in here which is new is the hound of the forge which is, which is an epic mount and we also have the weapons of the infernal forge in here which are transmutes so we're also going to take a look at those um, the maybe most interesting thing is the rings in here uh, we have random 980 990 and random 1010 item level rings we know that tower of the mad mage rings are in this box and the 1010 are usually the legendary rings uh, i it looks epic but the colors have been wrong for all of the boxes uh, so who knows um, we're gonna find out in this video and I will tell you exactly what the drop rates will be as I mentioned in the last video they will not be in the drop in the description but they will be in uh, the video I will tell you uh, and I will also put it in the character builder, by the way, as well as, well as all of the new rings. Um, so, without further ado, let's start going.
All right, everyone, uh, we are back. Uh, we've opened 1,000 of these ornate boxes. Uh, for those hoping for legendary Tower of the Mad Mate drinks, if you've watched the time lapse, and of course everyone did that, um, you've seen that sadly there are no legendary rings in this bag at all. Not Tom rings, no other legendary rings. It doesn't really matter, you still have 10 10 rings which have the same amount of stats. But yeah, we'll get to that later. I've looked a little bit at the rings and doesn't look good. Uh, some other things, uh, it was very obvious that the Elite Soldier was dropping more, the Slag Hunt also maybe, and we got a lot of weapon transmutes in here. Um, so I'm going to count everything again and then I'll be back with the final drop rates of this last mythic box. And we're back again um, with some interesting conclusions. Um, let's go to the box to talk through it. Um, so, companion upgrade tokens still 10 per box, nothing changed there. The gemstones. In my case, I got like 91% and 9% approximately, but I think it's just a little bit of bad luck here. So it should still be 9 to 1. So 90% ruby, 10% diamond. Then the rough astro diamond has been super accurate, super consistent, I should say, in this box. is again 13.1k per box on average. Rough AD, of course, not normal AD. And that is not counting the AD boost. So that is base. Um, then you have a lot of transmutes in here. And once again, you can only get them once. So if you have them, then you cannot get the same one again. They're all character bound, by the way. You, uh, in this box, I got the hood only 19% of the, of the time. So um, within 10 boxes, the helm 21% uh, of the time within 10 boxes, the winged helm 10%. Gloves 10%, the gauntlets 8%, the boots 13%, the greaves 17%, the tuning 10%, the armor 12%, and then the transmutes, I actually got 160, because you can get transmutes from all classes, independent on which class you're opening them. The bad thing is that they are character bound. Um, so you cannot move them to the correct class on your account, which I thought was going to be changed or fixed. This, this definitely is not okay. Um, talking about the weapon transmutes, uh, we have some really interesting stuff coming up. I looked at a couple because I can only see a couple uh, and I will talk on that later on. Then the Elite Soldier in the Legendary box, we only got 2 in 1000 boxes and now we got 21. Um, I'm fairly sure with this drop rate that it's unique. So I would say in 21% of the um, cases, I get the box within 10, um, within 10 boxes. I get the Soldier, the Elite Soldier within 10 boxes. The Slag Hound, we also got a little bit more. We got 17 of those, they're still not unique, so I'm just counting 1.7% here. Um, then we have the Hound of the Forge, and we didn't get that one at all in 1000 boxes. I don't know what's wrong, maybe the drop rate is super or super low, but even legendary mounts typically drop within 1000 boxes. So it might just be that this drop is not here so if you're grinding for it better hold on to when they mention that it's fixed um, just a tip from me it's not dropping at least for me and then the dented rod of course people want to have this one to upgrade their box uh, at least if you have the insurgency uh, metal rod uh, already the dented rod uh, I got 16 of those, so on, uh, in 16% of the cases I got them within 10 boxes and sometimes back to back on different characters. So not that bad. 
The ring drop rates are 59.3% for the 980 item level rings, 38.1% for the 990 item level rings and only 2.6% for the 1010 item level rings, but I don't think anyone wants them anyway. Then we get to the kind of disappointing part, the rings. Um, as I said at the start, I was saying that the 1010 rings might have been the legendary rings, but it turned out not to be the case. Um, they're actually just four other rings. Uh, the 980 and 990 rings are exactly the same ones from the last box. So those that I showed last time with the, all the daily perks and stuff and these plus one and plus two rings and the 1010 10 rings in here are basically the plus three versions of those items they have an item level of 10, 1010 and they have no equip power um, the stats high deflection low awareness uh, low armor penetration high critical strike high critical strike low critical avoidance and 20k defense which we also had on a tom ring which is much better than this one so very very disappointed on the rings part um now on to the transmute i told you guys i would go to look into that i'm going first to uh, transmute not for my class but which one that i could um, actually show you guys so here we are on this character uh, as you can see i got the dented metal rod here and also the elite soldier it dropped quite a bit uh, we also have the boots and we have two um transmutes and the uh, interesting thing about these they are both offense um typically you can preview uh, all kinds of transmutes independent of class but all the um transmutes that i tried to preview even the ranger ones they were all invisible so you didn't see them and that's very weird and we're going to very weird stuff in a moment but please let me first show you how these two look so these are both shields for paladins and fighters they get two shields um the bulwark shield looks like this so that's a really <laughs> unique thing. Some kind of uh, weird block. I don't know if this is really what they wanted to release, but uh, the other shield looks like this. It's basically, well, it's almost the same. It's a little bit less thick, a little bit more surface, I guess. But yeah, they both look fairly similar. Um, but yeah, these were the two offhands from off classes that I could show. Uh, the wizard offhand uh, doesn't have visuals. The uh, the warlock offhand doesn't have visuals. The uh, fighter we have here. Then the rogue uses the main hand visuals. So there we couldn't see anything. The cleric, uh, the paladin we see here as well. The cleric has no offhand visuals and the barbarian either. So just the ranger. But the ranger we're going to right now so yeah these are very interesting indeed let's go to the one that has both of the ranger ones all right so let me first show you what i mean with um no visuals uh, if we take for example this this dagger this dagger of the infernal forge for the rogue if we put it on we have to clear first we put this on we see nothing, nothing happens. We can also put it here, I think, because it's both uh, the same, uh, but nothing. Clear, then the pack blade, also uh, pack blade is offhand. We, wait, what? Preview, okay, like this works. Pack blade, we also don't see. So all the main hands, and I think this is the main hand for the wizard, we also don't see anything. Even if I go to the longbow and I do preview, I don't see anything it's just not there but there is something there and we'll get to that soon uh, let's first do the hatchets because those do have um, visuals they look like this also kind of the same as the other ones oh yeah um, very interesting 
Um, so let's just try to use them. I don't think we can just equip them, right? Oh, we can. So I, I'm, I have a weapon now, and if I change stance, you can... So you see, if I go to melee stance... Wait, wait, wait. I have an axe. And I have a bow in my hand. That's definitely interesting. And I actually can hit with my bow and with my axe. But if I go to range stance, I'm not holding anything. Yeah. So this also shows in combat. If we go, and they also look different in combat, by the way. So they don't look anything like what they looked before. Maybe because my settings are too low. One second. Okay, we upgraded our visuals a little bit. Let's see. No, they still look exactly the same. They look, it's look like, like they're a little bit burning. See, the bow looks like it's burning. Um, so yeah, let's, we're now in, let's go to range stance first. It looks really like we're not holding a bow. And if we shoot, oh, we actually cannot shoot now because we don't have a weapon equipped. In melee, we can actually attack, but of course we don't do any damage because this is weapon damage zero. But we can actually show the fighting. So we're fighting with a bow and an axe, a bow in the right hand, axe in the left hand. Very, very strange. Let me actually see if I can fix this and if, yeah, we can also fight with our main hand, one second, but we need to change this into actual transmutes. So let me put these back on. Let's put these in the library because they're character bond anyway. It's not like I'm gonna do anything else with them. Okay, so now if I, uh, appearance, if I change the appearance of this into the infernal forged longbow, You can see that I'm not using anything here, and in the in the melee stance, I only have the bow. I'm not you not. I'm having my normal axe here. See, I'm having my normal axe in my left hand, and the special bow in the right hand. And if we also pop in the do, 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 no appearance. If we also pop in this here, Hatchets of the Infernal Forged, save, okay. Now we have them both. And actually while walking, you can also see them. In ranged, the hatches are still there. <laughs> but yeah, we can, we can actually shoot now, but it's not like we're shooting with a bow or something. We're just shooting <laughs> with our hands. There's no bow. Just arrows. And of course the melee is still the same with the bow and the hatchet. Very strange. And if you remove the hatchet, you're just fighting with your bow in melee. Oh, now I cannot fight, of course, because I'm not wearing a hatchet. Wait, if I remove this here. Oh, now I'm fighting with two hatchets. Okay, so this is the way to get two hatchets. Oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, so that was enough fun with the transmutes. Um, some really, really weird stuff here. Uh, I can imagine that it's also strange and that's why I'm not seeing anything for the other classes. But yeah, I cannot move the transmutes so I cannot show that off. Um, anyway, really, really weird stuff.